Hi, it's Allie from Inspiralized, and today we're in my kitchen and we are making my Spiralized Sweet Potato Chocolate Waffles. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do you spiralize a waffle? Well, the waffle is actually made up of spiralized sweet potato, and we toss in some dark chocolate chunks in there, and they taste just like waffles, especially with a little drizzle of some maple syrup. So now that we have all of our ingredients, we are ready to do the fun stuff, which is spiralizing the sweet potato. So to start, you're just gonna wanna peel a sweet potato. This is a good size. And we're just gonna cut the ends off flatly and evenly so that they secure nicely to the spiralizer. So I'm just gonna set this aside here, and I'm just gonna grab a plate and place that underneath my spiralizer so that it will catch the beautiful sweet potato noodles that are about to come out. You just need to make sure that you suction the spiralizer firmly down to the countertop, which is really important when you are spiralizing tough veggies like the sweet potato. So now that this is nice and secure to the countertop, we wanna go ahead here and change the blade. We're gonna set this on blade D. We're gonna make spaghetti style noodles that are gonna get cooked into the waffle. And you wanna spiralize the entire sweet potato. All right, so now that we have our sweet potato noodles, we need to go cook them on the stove top. So I'm just gonna set this large skillet over medium high heat and I'm gonna add in some olive oil as my cooking oil. You could also use coconut oil here and it would give it a little extra flavor and a little extra sweetness, but I'm gonna just use standard olive oil. And I'm gonna wait for that oil to heat up and then I'm gonna add in the sweet potato noodles. And then I'm just gonna season with a little bit of salt and then you can take your tongs and give these noodles a nice big toss. All right, and once you've given that, that good toss and they're coated in the olive oil, you can grab your ground cinnamon and we're gonna sprinkle that onto the noodles. Okay. And we're gonna cook these noodles for about five to seven minutes until they're fully cooked, because you wanna make sure that when you bite into that waffle, there's no crunchy sweet potato noodles or anything like that. You wanna make sure they're nice and wilted. Okay, so these sweet potato noodles are done, and I'm just gonna let them sit here and rest and chill for about five minutes, just because you don't want super hot sweet potato noodles, because if they're too hot, when we mix them with the egg, they'll cook the egg, and we don't want that. We just want the egg to work as a binder. All right, now that these sweet potato noodles are nice and chilled, I'm going to mix them with the egg. So you just wanna mix until the sweet potato noodles are combined fully with the egg. So now that we're all set with the egg, we're gonna add in that chocolate. And again, I just cubed dark chocolate. All right, so now we are done with our sweet potato noodle chocolate waffle mix. So here's my Belgian waffle iron. You wanna have a Belgian waffle iron so that it'll have enough room for the sweet potato noodles. So I'm just gonna open up my waffle iron and I'm gonna take a little bit of cooking spray and spray into the cavities for the waffles. And now this mixture makes about two waffles. And now I'm gonna take my sweet potato noodle mixture and I'm just gonna pack it right into those grooves of the waffle iron. And unlike a batter, it won't fill the grooves themselves, so you have to kind of do it. And I can already tell that the chocolate is melting, it smells so good. These are perfect for making on the weekends if you want a little extra healthy treat that also tastes delicious. And we are ready to close that waffle iron. All right, I think these waffles are done. The chocolate looks perfectly melted, they formed like waffles, and now we just gotta pop them out. So now we have our two waffles and we're ready for the toppings. And then my favorite part of waffles, of course, is a good, healthy drizzle of maple syrup. So there you have it, my spiralized sweet potato chocolate waffles. I love using the spiralizer to make waffles and sweet potatoes are the perfect sweet noodle to use as a waffle. And they're a little healthier and they still got that great sweetness. The chocolate's a little extra kick. They're totally kid friendly. You can even sub in some blueberries for the chocolate, however you wanna serve them. I always love a little maple syrup on top. Follow Inspiralize.com for more healthy recipes like these.